And on the eighth day, after God in all his glory had created the heavens and the earth and all the animals on it, God looked down and said, I need a gamekeeper. God said, I need someone who understands what the wildlife need to survive and how to help them do it. I need someone who can manage the herd and knows which animals to harvest and which ones to let walk away. Someone who will pass his knowledge along to others, from the smallest of children to grown men and women, all the same. So God made an outfitter. He said, I need someone who is willing to get up before the sun, spend all day observing the animals, planting food plots, filling feeders, freshening up mineral sites, hanging stands, brushing in blinds, and cutting trails. Then go home at night and give thanks for the opportunity to be able to do so. So God made an outfitter. God said, I need someone who knows the land like the back of his hand. Every cut over, hardwood bottom, stump row, river bend, and honey hole for miles around. Someone that knows where the animals will be and every place possible to intercept these animals to make a clean kill in order to feed his family or the families of friends and neighbors. So God made an outfitter. He said, I need someone who's brave enough to stand between a grizzly bear and his fellow hunter in order to keep them safe, but it's also gentle enough to free a newborn phone from a barbed wire fence. So God made an outfitter. God said, I need someone that will stand up for the rights of the hunters at a moment's notice. Someone who's proud of their heritage and their God-given right to hunt the animals they love, but not too proud to give thanks to the ones who made that possible. So God made an outfitter. God said, above all of this, I need someone who is strong enough and willing to do all of these things and more in order to get that one chance to harvest one of my magnificent creatures. And then, take that one chance his chance and give it to someone else. So God made an outfitter.